So you're probably watching this video wondering how to get started with your Notion content planning and maybe a bit overwhelmed. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Notion can be very overwhelming. It is a huge learning curve, but I promise you once you get the basics down and once you get consistent with your content planning on Notion, it will be your second brain when it comes to putting down your content. Let's go ahead and hop on over to my Notion so I can show you how I take the process of content planning for the week. Okay, so we are here in my beautiful content planning hut. Of course, it is Harry Potter theme. Y'all know I am obsessed. But let me show you how I have everything laid out and how I remain consistent here with Notion. So first off, I love to have all of my platforms that I am on. Let me clarify. I am technically on all of these platforms, but my two main platforms right now are Instagram and YouTube. So these are the first two and they're kind of in the row of how like the hierarchy of my platforms besides the podcast, because that is a whole separate entity. Um, so that's why it is on the end. But I like to have direct contact up top so I can just go to like if I need to do anything with Instagram, I can go directly to that. I love having those little clickable links to take me right back to it. And then up top here, I can always go back to my main content hub. So scrolling down a little bit on my content hub is my master content database. Here is overall the master calendar when it comes to Notion. If I'm in a rush and I just want to go ahead and jot down exactly what I need to do for the week, which is kind of this week because I haven't sat down and started to do this just yet. I will scroll down to here. This is like my end all be all. I'm able to see everything depending on like what platform it is on. Um, I have it labeled and everything. And this is the easiest way for me to overall see everything that my replans it has going on or everything that I have going on with my podcast. Make it easy, simple to get something down and jot down everything that I need to do. I just go ahead to my calendar and click the plus sign to actually add in the content. So this is going to pop up no matter what, but if you scroll down here, you can see I have different templates based off of the platform. So for instance, let's say I need to do an Instagram post. I can click on new Insta post, and then I get the template here. This template is pretty much everything that I do for every single post. So first up, starting at the top, I do have this icon here. You don't necessarily need it, but I love to have it just to have the labels and it also shows up on the calendar, which I will show you in just a sec. Here where it says new Insta post, we can definitely change it. If you wanna keep it that way, by all means. But for this one, this is going to be a um, reel and it is Harry Potter related. So the date that is going to be posted is on the 11th. And as far as the goal, for me, my overall audience over on Instagram is not the Harry Potter kind of audience. While some of my audience do love it, that is not my main audience. So for me, this post is going to be for growth to try and get that Harry Potter audience over to my Instagram, as well as a bit of nurturing, because I know that there is a good amount of people within my current audience who does love the series and is excited to see me embrace the series. So if you're new around here, I am just now recently getting into Harry Potter and that's kind of been my thing lately. So those two um, are going to be my goals with this post. So I can write a little bit more about the goals down here if I want to. Here is where I absolutely love to have the real cover and I can show you why there in just a second. And I also like to copy down my caption. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all of that information. All right, so we have all of those fun little items down below. I typically come here and write my captions. This one was already done. I just did a re really quick upload. Um, so yeah, this is everything. And this is how I will go through and add all the things that I need for the content for the week. Um, as you can see, you can see the little Instagram icon there. So if I come here on the 11th and like, okay, what needs to be posted? What's going up today? I can see, oh, Instagram, I have a reel. And if you hover over it, you can see the full title of that reel. Um, another cool thing that I absolutely adore is that once you have your um, Instagram cover or reel cover or TikTok cover, whatever the platform is, you'll get a little clip of it. 
I can also reposition it. So it's not just this like weird of the bottom or if I just want to see the words. However, you can move it around by clicking reposition. I'm going to have my little face here and hit save position. And that is the way it will look. And I absolutely love it. I love seeing a little preview of what's coming up. And it just gives my uh, Notion content planning just a little bit more life. And like I said, once I am done posting that post, I will come back over to this and just mark complete. So therefore I have it checked off that it is done, it is posted and it is living out in the interwebs. So for the most part, this is how I manage my overall content. I do try to get into the nitty gritty of each piece of content, but if I am in the tizzy and just need to get my thoughts out there, I will go to my master uh, content database, plug everything into the calendar so therefore I can see. I do typically like to try and come early in the month to see um, if different things are popping up, if I have any paid collaborations that needs to be posted on certain dates and plug them in at the beginning of the month. So therefore, as I continue every week to come back to my own content, then I can um, figure out what needs to go where, what needs to get moved, all that jazz. And the beauty of this and what I absolutely love about having it done on Notion versus paper is that if something comes up and I need to move something around, I can easily do that by just clicking and dragging it to a different date. And if you click back open here, it will automatically update that date. So if there's one a day where I just could not get to post it and I will post it the next day, or if there's some kind of conflict or maybe a collaboration came up to where I need to move my existing schedule, I can just drag and drop to a different date. And again, it will easily be adjusted on the date when I open up the more detailed tab. One thing that I absolutely love about using Notion for content creation is that it is portable and on the go. So therefore, if I see a bit of inspiration when I'm out and about, or if I'm on social media and hear a sound that will fit perfectly within my niche, I can easily take a screenshot or copy the link to that specific sound and add it right into my Notion. So when I'm ready to create a plan for that content later on, I have the direct sound, I have the direct inspiration, and I'm not relying on my memory or a note that I just jot down while I was on the go and looking for that to create that piece of content. So let me show you how I typically will go about doing that. So again, back to my content calendar, let's just say I heard this wonderful Beyonce sound and I know I'm getting ready to go to the Beyonce concert here soon. And I'm gonna create a piece of content using that perfect sound. So uh, let's say I want to put this as an Instagram post. Again, we'll hit Instagram post and it is recovering from Beyonce, which I'm sure probably you've already heard. Um, it's one of my favorite sounds right now. I love seeing people come from this concert, but and I don't really even have to go through and fill this all out right now. This is just an inspo. I wanted to make sure that I keep the sound. So when I am ready to create that piece of content, I have the sound and I have what I originally thought days prior or weeks prior to create that piece of content. So I will just go ahead and scroll down here. Um, and I'm actually going to duplicate this and create its own little section. I need to update that. It is on my TikTok one, but I don't know why it's not on my Instagram. And just name it audio link. And therefore, once I do hear that sound, instead of just saving it on my Instagram and it getting buried with all the other sounds that I come across by the time that I am ready to create this recovering from Beyonce Reel or TikTok, at that point, there's so many other sounds and I have to dig for it and you never know what the name of the sound is. And it, this is just so much of a lifesaver. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link. And therefore this will take me directly to that audio. And when I am ready to create that piece of content, I'm good to go. Um, I can also do this with like, I'll put the image there if there's like a certain image or a certain idea. Um, also, if there's a specific reel that I want to recreate or put into my own niche, I can also drop the link there. And therefore, again, like I said, it's easier with um, having Notion right there on your phone, on your iPad, wherever you are, and seeing that piece of content and just going ahead and going for it and saving that um, inspiration 
So when you are ready to create that content, you can go right ahead and do it. Another thing that I love about Notion is to keep track of what my strategies are and where I am feeling with my content platforms that I am on. So let me go ahead and show you my specific content strategy page. So we're back right here to the content planning hub. And over here on the left are my quick links. I have um, like brands and pitches, monthly plans, all that stuff. But let's go ahead and click on content strategy. And I have like just a little table here to which I actually need to update. A lot of this stuff has changed since I have went through and um, curated this. But I love having the different platforms and having a goal for each one. Um, these are the things that I want to do with Instagram, like do carousel posts, reels, daily stories. Um, this is the post frequency that I wanted to do when it came to like my feed and reels and stories. And as you scroll over, you get into the goals and challenges and opportunities. So it's really just a way for me to come here and understand like exactly what I want to do with my platform and really break it down by actual platform. So, um, you know, here's what I have for TikTok, what I have for the podcast, what I have for YouTube. I can literally come here and see what my framework is and make sure that I am on pace with it. And once I am able to um, upload it and revisit it, I can see if I'm meeting my goals. I can see if I'm still having those challenges or if I conquered it. Um, it's just a, a nice place to kind of get all of my thoughts in one place and kind of break it down and be able to keep up with my platforms. So that is it, guys. That is how I plan out my content for the week and throughout the month. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you are interested in getting started with Notion, I do have a really easy bare bones content planning template down in the description. So definitely check that out. If you're interested in the template that I was using in this video, definitely let me know in the comments. It is something that I have been tinkering with if I wanted to sell this template and the whole nine. So let me know if that would be something you're interested in and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I love to know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions about Notion in general, I know it's a huge learning curve. Please leave that for me. And hey, who knows? Maybe I'll make a video out of it. I will also be live every Thursday and you can check out my page for the actual time for that. So if you want to ask your questions live in the chat, or just hang out with me and get some more insight on how I use Notion, definitely check out one of the lives. I would love to see you there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys in the next video. Bye.